Welcome to the Liturgy of the Hours, a tradition of prayer whose origins date from the time of King David. The Liturgy of the Hours is the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God. This is morning prayer for Friday, the sixth day in the octave of Christmas and the Feast of the Holy Family. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of God, who was obedient to Mary and Joseph. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of God, who was obedient to Mary and Joseph. The parents of Jesus went each year to Jerusalem for the solemn feast of Passover. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all of my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Father, Creator of unfailing light, give that same light to those who call to you. May our lips praise you, our lives proclaim your goodness, our works give you honor and our voices celebrate you forever. The parents of Jesus went each year to Jerusalem for the solemn feast of Passover. The child grew in wisdom and strength, and the favor of God was upon him. Oh, 
Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. The child grew in wisdom and strength, and the favor of God was upon him. His father and mother were full of wonder at what was said about their child. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy, and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Let Israel rejoice in you, Lord, and acknowledge you as Creator and Redeemer. We put our trust in your faithfulness and proclaim the wonderful truths of salvation. May your loving kindness embrace us now and forever. His father and mother were full of wonder at what was said about their child.
Honor your father and your mother, as the Lord your God has commanded you, that you may have a long life and prosperity in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Lord, give us light through the example of your family and guide our feet into the way of peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Lord, give us light through the example of your family and guide our feet into the way of peace. Let us adore the Son of the living God who humbled himself to become a son of a human family and let us beseech him. Jesus, you became obedient. Sanctify us. Jesus, eternal word of the Father, you made yourself subject to Mary and Joseph. Teach us humility. Christ, by your work the world was made, but you were willing to be called a worker's son. Teach us to work diligently. Jesus, in the family at Nazareth, you grew in wisdom, age, and grace before God and men. Help us to grow in all things toward you, our head. Jesus, you became obedient. Sanctify us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father in heaven, creator of all, you ordered the earth to bring forth life and crowned its goodness by creating the family of man. In history's moment, when all was ready, you sent your Son to dwell in time, obedient to the laws of life in our world. Teach us the sanctity of human love. Show us the value of family life and help us to live in peace with all men, that we may share in your life forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Friday, the sixth day in the octave of Christmas. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas, and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents. Sacred music is provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God, the Liturgy of the Hours.